हे गाइस दिस इज वैभव अग्रवाल एंड वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू आवर YouTube चैनल नॉलेज स्रोत फ्रेंड्स वी वर गेटिंग द क्वेरीज रिगार्डिंग द वॉल्ट एपीआई दैट प्लीज मेक सम वीडियोस ऑन द वॉल्ट एपीआई हाउ टू मेक यूज ऑफ इट एंड अदर डिटेल्स एज़ वेल राइट सो फ्रेंड्स इन टुडेस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट हाउ वी कैन जनरेट द वॉल्ट सेशन आईडी एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ द वॉल्ट सेशन आईडी वी कैन मेक यूज ऑफ अदर वॉल्ट एपीआई If you could see my screen on the left side, so we have the authentication. So with the help of the authentication, we will be generating first the session ID. I'll let you know in the detail that what are the application that we need to generate a session ID and what are the information that you should be aware of for generating the session ID. After that, we will be knowing that what is the use of the session ID and why we are generating that. So as if you could see left side of my screen, there are many other vault objects like binders, documents, users, SCIM groups, pick list. So first. we need to generate as a session id if we want to query any other related objects related to the we are suppose we want to fetch the details of any object suppose we want to create some object suppose we want to fetch the details of any user suppose we want to create any particular object if we want to perform any other operation suppose we want to perform operation related to the vql vql is vault query language similar to the sql so that is the use of this session id so session id is the first step to start with the vault api so friends without wasting any time let's start this video So friends I am here on the Vault API developer forum so I'll let you know that from where you can open just go to the Google Chrome and just search Vault developer So as you could search Vault developer in the first one you will get https colon double forward slash developer dot via vault dot com you have to click on that link and from the references you can see the vault api's version the latest one is 23.1 but right now i will be using 21.1 or 21.2 so let's open 21.1 So it's loading, friends. So finally, we are here, friends. Developer. Viva World. dot com. And in the first screen, you will be seeing the orange color button. Run in Postman. So once you will click on this button, the whole Vault collection, the Vault APIs collection, will be imported to the Postman. And I haven't downloaded this Postman as an application right now. I'm using as a web application. You can download this in your system or in your PC, or you can use as a web uh, as well. So right now I will be clicking on this run in postman you have to click on this one so all the vault apis collections will be imported in the postman so let's click on this one and now I am using postman for web so it's taking a little bit time so it's importing the collection friends as you could see so we have to click on my workspace that where you want to import click on import button So it's saying collection has been imported. So friends, uh, all the Vault API is 21.1 as I have started with the 21.1 version of the APIs. So whole collection has been imported in the Postman. If you could see the URL web dot Postman dot co. So I'll be clicking on this arrow button and first, as I told that we have to generate the session ID. So in today's video, I will be covering that how to generate the session ID. So let's first click on the authentication. and here is the vault documentation as well i'll let you know so vault developer dot forum if you want to go with the api's documentation you can see here so let's open 21.1 here again so from this documentation you can see that how to generate the i mean the session id so here it is saying that you need the headers headers will be the content type and accept so in the, it is a post type request and you have to provide those details that has been mentioned here and the headers i have already told and these are the parameters that we have to provide and in the body parameters we have to provide username password and dns vault dns it is an optional so this is the first way to generate the session id and most easiest way i would say to generate the session id if you go to the response side to the right hand side you will be getting the success message if you are logged in successfully and if you have entered all the parameters correctly the first parameter that you will be getting the vault id that what are the vault associated with your login credential it could be one it could be more than one as well so here you could see the vault ids the username and the url you will be getting here let's go back to the postman so to generate the session id here we will be using the username and the password one, the first one so, so we have to double click on this one and every details everything it will import automatically that what are the details needed here the first thing it's asking for the vault dns means the vault url the vault application that you are using it could be anything it could be rims it could be quality vault it could be pro max mat coms etmf etc right so right now i have logged in in my vault application and i'll be copying the dns or oh, sorry i'll copying the dns so now i have to paste the dns here and it will be one forward slash the api and the version that we are using so version it could be anything right now we are using 
in the version if you want to see the format that what is the format so format you can see from here uh, here it is https colon vault dns hyphen slash hyphen version and the version in it will be in the format v21.1 so i will make it v21.1 let me correct it and the params we don't have to enter anything now going to for the authentication here also we don't have anything and the headers are already prefilled as we have imported the collection from the official documentation now going to the body parameters and the for the body uh, we have to enter our username and the password the username it will be the vault username that we are using for the login and the vault password as well so here i'll be entering my username and password i can't show you so let me enter that after entering the password you have the save button so from the top you can save it for the future reference if you want to make use of any other apis and now you have to click on the send button so you will get the success or failures depends on the credentials that you have entered or the values that you have entered so i have entered the credentials correctly so it's showing the success message that's the session id that you could use for i mean querying the other vault apis and these are the other details related to the vault api related to the vault application so right now i have two vault application this is the vault id and this is the application name this is another vault id and this is the another application and uh, this is the main vault id the primary one that i am using so 42254 it's showing the same and this is the user id the username that you have entered right now i have entered my username that is web hogger so it's showing my user id from that vault account so friends this was all about the session id how you can generate let's take one more example regarding the documents that how you can create or fetch out the data so if you will go to the retrieve documents field suppose if you want to retrieve any fields or any metadata related to the documents so you have to go to the left side the vault i mean the vault collection that we have imported so here in the document side you have to click on this arrow and retrieve documents field suppose if you want to retrieve the documents fields so can go here and double click on this one get type request and it's saying to enter the vault dns you have to enter the vault dns that we have entered as same here right in the generating the session id the vault version that we are using and everything is same no need to make any other changes and in the params it's not asking anything authorization it's not asking anything in in the headers it's asking some details like authorization authorization it will be the session id that we have generated so this is the session id that we have generated so we have to copy this session id from here and uh, i'll copy it and we have to paste it here that's it and you have to save it so we can check that it's asking for any other fields or not it's not asking for any other fields so we have to enter here the other fields related to the vault dns and version and directly you have to click on the send and you will be getting the details so this is all about friends today's video if you found this video useful please do share and don't forget to subscribe our channel Thank you.